Hello and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Ruth Ann Vines and as of lately I've been making a lot of talking videos. So today I wanted to talk about dreams. Um, I'm also going to address the fact that I'm in a room right now and this is my apartment. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail about it because I definitely don't want to overshare on the internet but I'm very happy and I'm safe as of this moment. And you can tell because I did my nails and I only ever paint my nails if I am feeling safe. So I feel safe right now. So yeah, let's get into the video. Today I wanted to talk about dreams because I have been having the most beautiful dreams lately and they have been so inspiring that I have started writing again. And I just wanted to talk about dreams because I find them so inspiring and intriguing and my grandmother used to interpret dreams and she had a bunch of different dream books um, so yeah I wanted to ask you guys if you want to participate to tell me what kind of dreams you have at night and let me tell you what I mean by this so my mother only dreams in black and white and I find this insane because my dreams are extremely realistic like they're so realistic that I confuse memories with real life like my dreams and real life I remember them equally they look the same to me my dreams are so realistic that when I feel something in my dream it feels real like I feel like I am in pain or I feel like I am flying when I'm flying in my dreams and I just some people do not get this same experience that I do when I dream. And I wanted to know, do you guys dream in black and white? Do you dream in full color? Are your dreams in a blur? Is it a narrator telling you a story? And I wanted to know, is your dreams usually from your point of view? Or is it from the point of view of a character? Because in my dreams, a majority of the time I am myself, but sometimes I will dream that I am somebody else. Like I am dreaming someone else's life or something. Um, and it's extremely inspiring for writing because you get that point of view and so many little details. And I find dreams so inspiring for my waking life in art. When you are a very creative person, you can become easily influenced by your dreams. And I most definitely am. It is fuel for a lot of my projects. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I just wanted to know if you guys have the same experience or a different experience. Tell me about it. I want to know. Um, and now I want to show you the dream, my dream book. This is my dream book. I've had it since 2021. So three or four years now. Um, and I have a little sticker on the top that says, Iced or hot, I like it a lot. I'll drink coffee till I rot. <laughs> and it's a little skeleton holding a glass of coffee. I feel like this isn't as accurate for me anymore because I don't drink coffee that much. I miss drinking coffee, but it's something I wanna hold back from because I feel like once I start drinking coffee, I will drink it till I rot. So um, here's the little stickers I put in it. And then let's see if I can find a cool dream. I do put my nightmares in here because I think it's important to reflect on all of your dreams because it is messages from your subconscious mind letting you know like what do you need to change in your waking life or just inspiring things. Okay, I'll just say a dream that I remember very well. So a few days before my 22nd birthday, so this one was recent. I had a dream about my grandmother who passed away years ago and she gave me a hug and told me happy birthday um, and I feel like this is such a beautiful dream to have because when you dream of relatives that have already passed on there's an element of confusion in the dream and the whole time I was looking at my grandmother and I was just like why are you here <laughs> what are you doing here but it was just something beautiful to wake up from and feel like love and care from relatives that have already passed on wishing me a happy birthday and just giving like it gave me a gratitude that I have 
been blessed with 22 years on life not to be cheesy or anything but it just when you get a message like that in a dream it just makes you feel so grateful um for me anyways and i've had dreams many times about relatives just sitting with them i've i've had tea with my grandmother so many times in my dreams and i'm always just sitting there like what are you doing here <laughs> um and people that i don't see often I'll dream about them and just spending time with them and I think these dreams are so beautiful because it does it does give you like a sense of relief if you cannot see this person in real life you know like family members um, yeah I just I think one of my favorite activities to do in my dreams is flying because it is feels so real but when you wake up you can only get that sense of flying in your dreams, like that feeling that you get when you're flying in your dreams. Um, and I won't get into lucid dreaming or astral projection or anything like that, but I definitely have experienced both of those things, and they are also very fun things, but dreaming at its like core level, like just, just dreaming is amazing as it is. So yeah that's just something i've been thinking about and wanted to talk about i'm not gonna say the dream like the dreams that have been inspiring me to write as of lately because if one day i do come up with a novel i don't want it to be spoiled so yeah i hope you guys are doing well and thank you for watching if you want me to do another video like this let me know because i love dreams and i would love to go on and on some more about them if you guys are interested so I am going to go and grab my favorite dream books that my grandmother has left for me um, and show them to you guys. Okay, so these are the dream books. <laughs> there are quite a few of them, but two of them are mine, okay? So this one has lots of like, beautiful artwork in it. I love going through this one when I'm mostly just wanting to see little photos and stuff associated. Um, I'll give you an example. I want to look for a good word. Or maybe a common word. Something we dream of often. Because I feel like we don't dream of white gloves often. <laughs> but white gloves are in here. Let's see. Doors. While people, okay, so while Fred and Young, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, agreed that a house may symbolize the body, they differed about the house's doors. For Fred, doors are dream images of body orifices. Oh God. For Young, doors express the dreamer's relationship to the inner and outer worlds. I like that one much better. <laughs> a door opening outward, according to the Jungian view suggests that dreamers need to open up to others. Opening inward, the door can mean a wish to explore the inner self. See, I find these so fascinating because there are so many different definitions for the types of dreams that you have. But in reality, there is no single definition. It's the way that you interpret your dreams to help yourself. There's not a right answer. It's what you feel the most cling to. Like, what do you feel like you need to change? What do you feel like this means in your life? So that's why I love going through these. <laughs> Although I don't agree with a lot of the things that he says, um, I have this book. Um, it's like a rewritten copy of his point of view on dreams, which is extremely uh, controversial. <laughs> I think I'm blurry right now. This camera is a mess. Look how beautiful this cover is. It's so pretty. It's so surreal. I have lucid dreaming and astral projection, which like I said, I'm not gonna get into, but I do find it extremely interesting. And then this one is my favorite because it is the one that I referred to the most when I was very little. Um, and someone left a little note in the pages. I have I can't read backwards. I have dreams, Sandy, and you're in all of them. Love, Dwayne. That is so cute. <laughs> and it's in my little dream book forever. Until one day someone else gets these. See, I'll find you a beautiful piece of art in here. <sighs> okay, 
so that is my dream books. I do have a lot more of them, but like, I feel like, I feel like I've, I've shown you enough. If you want more, just tell me. But like, I don't want to subject anybody to more of this if they don't want it. 